the rarest Canadian coins. In 1965, it was the coin that was considered to have the highest value anywhere in the world. And it's also the most uncommon of its kind across the nation. In this video, we're going to talk about the 10 rarest Canadian coins. However, before we go ahead, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any awesome videos. The Royal Canadian Mint has historically created some of the rarest coins in the world, making Canadian rare coins extremely valuable. This not only makes collecting Canadian coins a ton of fun, but it also makes them some of the best investment grade collectibles available. Here are the 10 rarest Canadian coins. Number 10, 1947 Maple Leaf Silver Dollar. The history of the 1948 Silver Dollar is comparable to that of the 1947 Maple Leaf Silver Dollar. While the RCM waited for new dollars, to strike the 1948 coins. They used the dies from 1947 to fulfill the demand that had already been established. The mint indicated that the coins were struck in 1948 by adding a miniature maple leaf next to the date, which was done in a manner comparable to the dot coins that were struck in 1936. These coins have a mintage of 21,135, according to the records, but they're also a rare silver dollar. Depending on the grade, it has the potential to sell for anywhere between 300 and $10,000 at auction. Number 9. 1948 Canadian Silver Dollar The 1948 Silver Dollar is known as the King of Canadian Silver Dollars. Only a few of the 18,780 coins that were minted have survived. The 1948 Silver Dollar's low mintage is explained by the 1947 independence of India. The effigy of the current monarch was depicted on the obverse of Canadian coins up until 1948 along with their names and royal title, which were written in Latin. The title, Emperor of India, was one of their royal titles. In order to produce the 1948 coin, this had to be taken out of the dies. The mint could only produce a small amount by the time the new dies arrived. These coins can be purchased at auction, and depending on the grade, typically sell for between $1,000 and $20,000. Number 8, 1921, 50 cent. Hang on, we're not talking about the Curtis Jackson 50 cent here. This is about the rare Canadian coin. It was once referred to as the king of Canadian coins. Despite the fact that the mint only produced 206,398 of them, the government chose to melt them down due to low demand. There are currently fewer than 200, according to experts. Since their introduction in 1870, 50 cent pieces have enjoyed varying degrees of popularity. However, the government declared in 1920 that the silver content of the standard Canadian coin would decrease from 92.5% to 80%. Demand decreased as a result. The current value can vary depending on quality, wear, and finish, but they can fetch up to $200,000 when sold at auction. Number 7. 1906 Small Crown According to the consensus of industry professionals, the manufacturers used a single crown die to strike approximately 100 examples before switching to a larger die. This fact renders the 1906 Small Crown an extremely uncommon coin and gives it the distinction of being the most distinctive of all Canadian quarters. The majority of these examples are in low-grade conditions and have features that have been heavily eroded. They frequently trade hands for more than $1,000. There's a smaller number of examples that are in condition that's superior to very good. It's possible that they could fetch up to $50,000 each. Number 6. Bank of Canada Silver Dollar The names Emperor and Holy Grail have been given to this one informally, due to the fact that there were only pattern pieces made, which were never intended to be put into circulation. This item is extremely rare. In 1965, it was the coin that was considered to have the highest value anywhere in the world, and it's also the most uncommon of its kind across the nation. There are only three dollars minted in the 1911 pattern. Two of them were struck in silver, and one was struck in bronze. The Canadian Currency Museum in Ottawa is home to both the bronze and the silver example of the 1911 pattern dollar. The second 1911 silver dollar was sold at auction in 2003 for a little bit more than one million dollars. Number 5. 1921 5 cent The Royal Canadian Mint planned to introduce a nickel 5 cent piece for the following year in 1921. All of the current silver 5 cent pieces were melted down in order 
order to get ready for the launch. The majority of these were struck in 1921. Examples from business strikes and specimen sets sold to visitors to the Canadian Mint in the same year are the ones that have survived. Less than 400 of these are in existence right now. These are available in various grades and can sell anywhere from $4,000 to $100,000. Number 4. 1936. Dot. Tencent. There are currently only five examples of this rare Canadian dime in circulation. Items have distinctive currency differences because of historical changes. Edward VIII became king in 1936, but his brother, George VI, took over as monarch the following year. One, ten, and 25 cent Canadian coins were in short supply before new coins could be produced. The government released coins bearing George V's likeness and the date, 1936, in 1937. These 10 cent pieces had a dot on the reverse to help you tell them apart, but they were never used in transactions. One of these was auctioned off in 2010 for over $150,000. Number 3. 1916 Sea Gold Sovereign The one pound gold coin was produced by the Ottawa Royal Canadian Mint between 1908 and 1919. The mint was required to produce sovereigns on demand because of its ties to Britain. There weren't many pieces made because this required special requests for various commercial uses. Only pattern pieces were produced in 1908, with the exception of a C mint mark designating the country of production. They're identical to British sovereigns. Number 2. 1987 Loon Dollar The one dollar bill was replaced in 1987 by the Loon Dollar. One loon bird in the water is depicted on the coin's front and Queen Elizabeth is depicted on the back. It has a bronze or aureate coating and nickel interior. The term, the loonie, as it became known as, also applied to the Canadian currency. The loon dollar was opposed by the general public when it was first introduced, so few first issue specimens have survived. Additionally, it's been printed in commemorative editions. Number 1. 1911 Canadian Silver Dollar The most coveted Canadian coin of all time is the 1911 Canadian Silver Dollar. It previously held the title of most expensive coin in history. Only three instances of this exist, which include two in silver and one in bronze. There's only one example left for collectors, because the Canadian Currency Museum in Ottawa is home to the bronze example and one silver example. The price of this coin at an auction in 2003 was almost almost $1 million. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comments. And make sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.